Are we ready for this? Guys, this one is from 2010, okay? We're talking 10 years ago today. Such a mood. Hey everyone, what's up? I am doing a different vlog than I originally anticipated to film today. I was going to film a part of the GIST series today but today is really not going according to plan. If you're clicking on this video for the reason of the title, then maybe you're feeling the same way. Once back in 2016, I think it was, this day that I, I was supposed to film this certain stuff, and anyway, it ended up just being a really bad day, and instead of letting myself kind of get defeated, I, I turned it into a video of what to do when you're having a bad day, and I, I'm, basically doing that again today. I'm, I just, I know from the Discord chat with everybody that it seems like almost everybody feels like they're going through something at this point and I think that that's pretty global. We could all have a bad day together and uh, talk about some of the things you can do when you're having a bad day to feel better. Things aren't going according to plan for a lot of people and in general I woke up already feeling just really anxious and, and really overwhelmed by a lot of things and so talk about all the things that I like to do and share all the things and show all of the things that I like to do whenever I'm having just not the best day. Okay, so first things first. I currently don't have any groceries. One of my favorite lunches from this place called Fresh in Toronto. There's a couple locations. I ordered myself some french fries and some salad for lunch. I, especially if I'm home, and I think most of us still are home right now, I like to put on really, really comfy clothes and one of my favorite TV shows or just something comforting in the background. I'm gonna pop Lately, I've just had Modern Family playing in the background, even though I'm not necessarily always paying attention, even if I'm working. It's just kind of comforting, especially if you live alone. Look at these split, gonna snap my fingers and change. And just take a few feel-good minutes to kind of laugh at something or watch something. And then after that, I'm gonna turn on my laptop and face the music. was originally going to be a how to declutter your life in a day and I didn't clearly end up getting to do my whole life today which was a little ambitious if you ask me but I did get to one of the closets that was on my list and I guess that's kind of like my second tip in terms of whenever I'm just having a really off day I do find it somewhat helpful if I had something planned that day even if it's like a big project, to even just get one small thing done off that that project or that bigger task, you know? Like if you're having a bad day and you really do have to show up for the things you've gotta do, then just break it down into smaller tasks and just take it one task at a time. So I originally was going to just kind of abandon the whole idea, but I really do have to start getting my stuff together and really like packing things up. And, and realistically, I'm trying to own as little amount of things as possible by the time I leave here. So it felt good to just like get up and pick a project 
project, pick a task, and even though it has nothing to do with why I'm having a bad day, it gives you a sense of control and it also gives you that sense of competency. Like you're like, yes, I can do things. Like I feel accomplished. Up until about an hour ago, these closets were just packed and totally unorganized and full of stuff that I truly just do not need. If you guys still want the how to declutter your life in a day video, let me know because if that's the case then maybe I shouldn't go too far into, you know, the methods I'm using today. But with the decluttering system, I literally just, I put on some headphones, I put on some good music, picked a task, so I did my closet in this room, emptied everything out of the closet and then had four sections. So there is the donate pile or the things I'm gonna give away. So keep to give away to you guys, to friends and family, things like that. Then I have the donate, donate pile, things that I'm gonna be donating to like charity and things like that. The pile after that was my keep pile, which ended up basically just being a bag of paper that I need to shred before I leave my paper shredder and my dry erase markers and then finally a garbage and recycle pile and I literally just pulled everything out of these closets put away the things I'm keeping and everything else is in those piles so my closet is like those are the only two shelves everything is now officially empty that's my printer but nothing else is in here I have my um, sewing machine and then all of my old journals and, and like important memorabilia and that's it for this closet. And then in this closet, this is like my techie kind of closet. So all this used to just be pillows and blankets and now it's all clean. It's just my light, my stool for filming. I kept a microphone, my lenses. That's just a really pretty light, a digital camera. And then those are just some blankets. So that's all that's left in here. Just doing that task alone felt so good. Like I feel, I feel a lot better. Also real talk while I was doing that, I read some of my really, really old journal posts from this exact day and other years. You know what, why don't I just take the journey with you? So this is another really good thing to do as well, gain some perspective, you know? Not everybody journals and that's totally cool, but I find that you don't have to go read old journal posts or anything, but just remembering where you were even a year ago today or a couple years ago, gaining that objective point of view, that perspective to zoom out of life and remember that even like the harder days, even the bad days, even the times where it feels like things are kind of going wrong or maybe not going so great, that it isn't like that forever. You know, time is always coming. It's the only constant in life and with time always comes change. Reading some old journal posts as to where I was this day on, in all of these years, like guys, this one is from 2010, okay? We're talking 10 years ago today. Are we ready for this? Time, dot, dot, dot. Time ages us, it changes things, brings upon new things, and lets old things go. In a split second, your life can change drastically. I spelled drastically, totally wrong. Time is something you sometimes feel isn't enough, and most of the time in our life, we waste on negativity. But is time always a bad thing? Question mark. I was 16 when I wrote this, by the way. Most need time in order to learn and make mistakes and grow up with a fulfilled childhood in order to make adult decisions. Not true. Some are bribed of their time and face these decisions at a young age. True. So what then? Give up? Run away? Avoid it completely? No two lives will ever be the same, and time may be something you'll have a lot of or very little. So now's the time. I feel like it's really cute. 16 year old trying to be woke me. <laughs> That's how we were feeling 10 years ago today. Are we ready for this next one? Shall we do 2013? Seven years ago? I haven't read this one yet. This is about love, guys. Oh boy. I hate this. Each and every day is another day I fight and convince myself I don't miss you. It affects me so in so many ways. I want to reach out, drop my guard, not be afraid to tell you that you're all I want. <laughs> oh, I want to spend one more night with you. I want to flip a switch and go back to months ago where I could soak up every single second of it. I wish we could just drop our baggage and complications, stop letting the weight of nothing get in our way, to not think and to just be. Let's stop missing each other and be until we can't be anymore. So 2013 today, me was also having clearly a bad day. Missing her mans. I don't even remember who my mans was back then. All right, a year later, are we ready? Let's go to 2015. Oh, we have a, we have a full on, collage here guys those are the good old days Just spending days making collages okay 2015 five years ago well first of all i made a graph of how i wanted to be or create online kaylin xo 13 which was i think it still is actually my username on youtube because they won't let me change it and then underneath that it says youtube and then it says fashion travel lifestyle beauty 
oh, those are the days. Um, and then blog and website, it says fashion, travel, lifestyle, positivity in all different colors. Get my business on. That wasn't necessarily a bad day. This, I remember making this in a DIY video on this channel, GTs. We need to make more DIYs soon, guys. Maybe when I'm not moving. Today is the day I leave for California. I was having a good day this day. To say I've been feeling rough these last little bit, this last little bit is an understatement. I'm ready to embark on this adventure and really start to focus and find myself. I wanna put value in my words, to be confident in who I am and to love that person. I don't have to push myself to be someone I'm not, but rather just push myself to be the best version of me, to accept my flaws and work on them, to accept everything about me while striving to improve. Keeping the need to seek validation only from myself. We're still working on it, girl. To not stress over what anyone else is thinking. Still working on it. To be present and interested in anyone that I encounter. I love that. To be sure and confident in myself and my decisions, even if I have to fake that part. Fake it till you make it. I'm going to Cali today, and I don't think I've ever been more ready or that it could have come at a better time. Okay, so today in 2016, 2016 was a good year. 2017, what kind of day were we having then? A pep talk, 2017, 8.39 a.m. You are crushing it. I'm so proud of how far you've come. Think back to the lost teenage girl. You've done her so proud. You have so much that you should feel accomplished for. You followed your passion and intuition and you built yourself your own little kingdom. You picked your ass up and you moved to Toronto by yourself. You've been a rock for so many people and no matter how far you have traveled or will travel alone, you have taken care of yourself. So trust in your ability to continue to do so. Are we ready? 2018? 2018 is still, oh. I forgot I used to press leaves and flowers in this one. We got another pep talk coming in hot at 11.32 in the morning. You have to be your sun, burn your fire, feed your soul. You have to let all the pillars of your life be planets orbiting around you, but never your source of life. Let them have moons and your thoughts become stars. Yours to depict their symbols and meaning, waiting to be picked and plucked. Be the ruler of the system that orbits you as the solar source that brings everything encompassed in your life, light and love. Find your center, balance your nights with days, and choose to shine bright rather than waiting for someone or something to come and turn on your light for you. I've been drawn to orange, sun, solar, warmth, and yellows lately. The universe has been, the universe has been trying to remind me to tune back into my core, my center of the soul, my manipura, my personal power, my svadhisthana, <laughs> my creativity and sexuality. My world shines brighter when I let myself stand on my own two feet but sharing my light and warmth while doing so. So 2017 and 2018 and 2016, all pep talks and great days. Last but not least, let's see where we were a year ago today. Ooh, girl journaled this year. Random side check here, 2019 was a year of deep, deep healing. But this also goes to show you how far, you know, you can move in a year. So 9.26 PM, 366 days ago because it was a leap year. I'm choosing a different pathway than my subconscious believes I'm capable of. It's hard to know what the future holds, but I know it's time to start getting ready. What is even getting ready? It's simplifying my life in preparation for what is next. It's building my confidence. It's loving myself to see my full potential through. It's showing up in that worthiness within myself. It's speaking my authentic truth and no longer hiding or feeling ashamed of who I am or how I feel. Right now, my focus is on self-love, including how I self-care, how I do what I love most, how I can show up for others in the world, how I learn to love my body, and that I start taking these lemons, and instead of tasting every ounce of sour, I start making damn lemonade. So that was a fun little trip down memory lane. I don't know about you guys. Even go back and look at pictures a couple years ago, especially if you go really far back, like 2010, you will see that you have come a very, very long way in those 10 years. And I mean, you know, who's to say today 10 years from now, okay, 2030. When we're looking back on today in today's journal, which I haven't done that yet, I'm sorry, hold up. Sorry, that kind of just felt like a very serendipitous moment most I'm talking about 10 years from now and then looking up and just seeing the moon. But who's to say that 10 years from now in 2030, we're not looking back and being like, wow, look at the day we were having in 2020. And who's to say in 2025, five years from now, even a year from now, 2021, like it doesn't change. You're allowed to have a bad day, have your bad day by all means. Like clearly there was a mixture of good days and bad days over the last few years of this exact day, but yeah, just kind of getting that objective and, and being able to zoom out and realize that, you know, it can be a bad 
day, it can be a bad week, it could even be a bad year, but it doesn't mean it's permanent. It's never permanent. And I think we could take a, a page out of a couple of those old journal posts. Showing up, being your own son, and, and making lemonade instead of tasting the sour grapes, you know? That was a cool little find in my closet. I also found those cute little earrings, and I haven't worn earrings since my best friend got married last year. So I think I might put, put some earrings in. I have no idea if they're even gonna make it through my ears, but let's give them a try. Which ones do we? Let's do the half moon ones, because the moon is kind of, I think the moon is in a half moon right now. Ooh, I don't know if I like earrings. I don't know, I've never been an earring person. But yellow, try new things, right? So I'm meeting with my friend Isaac. You can meet with up to 10 people in Toronto right now. And um, we're just gonna grab a drink and catch up. I haven't seen him in six months. I haven't seen him since 2019. Oh, this is different. I don't know if I love it yet, but I don't hate it. You know what? Yellow. We're gonna leave that. So yeah, I'm gonna meet up with my friend Isaac. I haven't seen him since 2019 and I know that this isn't something that everybody can do, but even just calling up a friend or FaceTiming a friend, especially when I was reading my old journals, I found a couple journal posts or journal entries where I was writing about how like you don't need anybody and blah 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 and it was when I was like really young and I think that that was actually a very constant trait in my life for a while where I would have bad days and I would kind of isolate and, and seclude myself and I think that that can sometimes feel good but sometimes I think it's also kind of a cop-out because we're afraid to be vulnerable and sometimes it's just nice to have like an active listener or just to even if you don't want to talk about your bad day with the person you're going to see to just be able to have some fresh new energy someone that you know makes you happy makes you laugh Isaac is definitely one of those people so so I'm gonna change into a cute cute little outfit and then go meet Isaac for a drink and just kind of wind down just wind down still not used to earrings I'll give you guys a full little outfit of the day before I head out. Seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, trip, trip. Nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick that switch. Kill the lights. Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty okay. faces <laughs> We don't care about them tonight There we go Why are you still doing this? Oh my god If it's real cause when we're doing our thing Where the wheels don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid finish off today's video with just one more little like insight or tip it's not really a tip it's more of a thought really whenever you are having a bad day or even a bad week or a bad month or a bad year really 2020 in general I know it's a hard year for a lot of people it's just like today is a new day next week is a new week and it's also a new month we have July but the month after that is also a new month and there's always gonna be a new season there's always gonna be a new decade there's always gonna be a new time and I feel like that was kind of the concept with going back into those journal entries is just to remember that if you're having a bad day like there can sometimes be that urgency to try and make it a better day or to make yourself feel happy and when reality is sometimes we just need to feel our bad day sometimes we just need to accept it go to bed wake up the next day and and just keep doing that and just keep holding on so you can come back to this video whenever you want if you want to have somebody to hang out with on your bad day um, it's always just good to remember that we're all in this together even just the 2020 guys like 2020 is a hard year globally like we're all in this together it's corny it's cliche but let's keep it in mind we can lean on each other for support because that's kind of what we're here for you know and that's one of the beautiful things of social media so there you guys have it if you guys want to keep hanging out I'll pop up another vlog on the screen here you can go check it out aside from that thank you guys so much for watching I'm sending you guys so much light and love and I'll talk to you in my next video bye guys